Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. Barramundi Boat Ramp was our first stop this week. The road in was half bitumen and half dirt and the dirt was a bit rough and corrugated but if you take it easy you should be fine. It's about 10 kilometres from the Bruce Highway down Hoddle Road. So we've been at Barramundi Boat Ramp for about three nights. It has two pontoons, a boat ramp, a drop toilet, enough room for probably five or six caravans. You can walk straight out your door down onto the pontoon and fish. I caught a barramundi underneath that tree over there, casting a bait over early one morning, about 70 centimetres. Don't have any footage, sorry, but we do have some photos of the barra. It's a good campsite, it's free, it's easy accessible, just be aware that there are boats turning up by 4.30 every morning and loading into down the boat ramp, so it's a little noisy that way. Awesome for fishing, let me show you around. So that's your boat ramp. Leads out onto a pontoon, it's really good for fishing, so either tide you can come in from one side or the other. This is the other pontoon, it's either just for fishing or a pickup point if the boat ramp's really busy. And that's your drop toilet. And then over here is another one half of the campgrounds. It's got enough room there for, there's two caravans or a truck and a caravan there now, so you'd probably fit in another two caravans, maybe three, another one over the back. This is another camping site, amazing views from this spot. And this is us. And I guess you'd fit two caravans here if you were camping with mates. The best part of them is they have these cute little huts with stainless steel benches in them so that you can fill up your fish. Sorry about the mess. This boat ramp had some of the nicest views. The sunrises were so pretty, looking up the river towards the mountains where it rained nearly every day. The bird life was pretty good as well. We passed jabiroos, magpie geese, heron and a ton of other water birds on our way to the boat ramp. It's a really big system and the creek was full of life. There was about 10 to 15 boats out fishing each day.
the locals and us were catching grunter, brim, whiting, mangrove jack. Did I mention I caught a barra? It was about 70 centimetres. Is it good? It's not good, but it's fine. Oh, it's a grunter! Don't lose him. He'd be nearly legal. In a former life, I was a chef in a seafood restaurant, so filleting fish comes easy to me, and I usually get the job. We did notice a couple of crow boats working the crabs as well, and they seem to be doing quite well. Crabs were full on. As soon as your bait hit the water, there was undersized crabs eating it. We did manage to get a few on the pontoon. They're all the same size. We had just bought a couple of small pots suitable for carrying around while we were travelling from two different companies. The square one seemed to be working quite well and I would recommend it to anyone who is travelling. Ninety percent of the crabs we caught were about a centimetre undersized, but they just kept coming. We didn't pull up one pot that didn't have something in it. Yay, we caught a crab! Got to be happy with that. We said goodbye to Barramundi Creek and headed off to Guru. Guru is a small town with a grass park about 53 kilometres south of Townsville. It's a free camp, very quiet except for a train about five times a day. There is no facilities. If you need the toilet, it's a bit of a hike up to the main street. Guru has the biggest Queenslander pub and the meals were amazing. Do yourself a favour. The town hall also has a small park, a skate bowl for the kids, a general store and a post office. The next stop was Cromarty Creek. We've been at Kamadi Creek for a couple of days and while we didn't catch anything, there's been a couple of blokes we've spotted catching barra up the creek a little further. There's a lot of boats coming and going from the area. It is a free camp. You can stay four days out of 14. It does have a toilet block and it's about five kilometers down the road from Guru. The road in wasn't too bad, the crabs were full on again and eating our bait every time it hit the water. It has a good boat ramp, it's a large flat area with no trees for shade and no water.
large flat area. However, it does look like it would get really boggy when it was wet. So just check your weather forecast before you come down here to camp. The mozzies and sand flies were full on, even with the bit of wind. Make sure you have some AeroGuard. Anyhow, stay happy, keep in touch, and we'll see you next week.